بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله أما بعد قال <coughs> so brothers and sisters I would like to introduce you about BA Islamic studies. Uh, if you go back 10 years back or 15 years back, there was no BA in Islamic studies. It was BA in Tamil, Christianity, Hindi, in many languages. So degree as a BA, it was not there. So it started maybe uh, 13 years back generally. Many people they started <coughs> in the world. For example, first uh, they, you know that Muslims have many sects, many divisions, many understandings. So one person when it is started, so other people also they started, they frame their own syllabus everywhere. In Jamia Milliya, in Madras University, in Lucknow University, in Europe a lot. In, in Europe even BSc Islamic Studies and BA Islamic Studies that is also introduced because these people have a lot of uh, potential they have to learn, to market and to earn the money. So in India, <coughs> BA is there in Islamic Studies but most of the time in 99% if you see the syllabus is the history, Islamic, Muslim history is the BA Islamic studies. Arabic language is the Islamic studies. That is why the people are always confused. When they come to learn BIS, they think that after three years, two years, they will be very perfect in Arabic language. So they always ask us, why you did not teach complete Arabic and something. So Arabic language, you know, Syria, 20% are Christians. The 100% language is Arabic. Known dictionaries are written by Christians. Egypt, more than 10% are Christians. So what can we do with the language? And the Arabs, Christians are there, atheists are there. Huh? Ba'ath party. Libya was ruled 40 years with the you know, communism. Arabs. So they know the Arabic, they don't know Islam. So anyway, sisters, why we are those people who are behind this project in India, you know, the first person who came to teach BAIS in India was myself. Before that I used to teach in IOU, Islamic Online University, because Dr. Bilal was one of the person among the uh, rightly guided people or followers of the Quran and the Sunnah who started BA Islamic studies basically in Ajman in Dubai. Then he put it in Qatar, then he came to India to start, but was not able to be here. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent me in his place. So I was the first one in India to start and to teach. So why BA? Because right now society for the prestige, for the position, for the marriages, whatever it is, if you say what you have studied, uh, Madarsa, Maulana, plus two, that it does not give because the media and the society has created a lot of buzz about the degree graduate, undergraduate. So we thought, okay, Quran will not change, Hadith will not change, knowledge will not change. But our students, they want something, our people, uh, that is recognized by the society. So we said, okay, we will try to approach the universities and universities people they want the money they took the money they recognize it because the Muslim till this time they did not approach the universities that is why it was not known in India while Christianity and everything is known because they are the people who are working so a BA become little bit known and the other people also adopting right now it's the market it is the money it is not that they want the Islam so we said, okay, we'll provide the degree. That is why you people are happy. If I say that I have come the mother, so please come, no one will come. Even the people come and think that it is the free because Islam is related to free. Second thing. Third thing, 
you will not be very enthusiastic to pay 50, 60, 70 thousand, isn't it? Right now, what's the matter is the prestige, okay, BA, that is the degree, BA, okay. Then you want Islam, real Islam, proper Islam, perfect Islam, because those people in the centers, in the madrasas, I was khatib, I was khatib, khutbah. In Arabic, in Qatar, 10 years I used to address the Arabic people. Mufti Umar Sharif, he never spoke to me in any language except who is part of our team, in Arabic except. Ansar Makki also, he never spoke to me except few times, but in Arabic. So these people, they know the Arabic, they are masters. I think that in the whole Chennai, such people are very less. So why I am mentioning these things? These are the qualified, most qualified available people in Tamil Nadu or in India, most qualified people. While if you go to the madrasa centers, there and that, the people, how much knowledge do you know? They know that I was in the senior position for 10 years in India, teaching HOD, Islamic studies. People used to come to teach Arabic. How much you have learned? Two books of Arabic language, Dudusul Loga, have finished. MashaAllah. Two books did you finish? You want to become lecturer there? So standard. That is what happening in new college, in Madras, in somewhere. Little bit, two, three books they have finished as a second language in BA, BCom, BSc, somewhere, and they become the lecturer and professors. And they write exams in English, in Tamil, and they get the degree of BA in Arabic or BA in Islamic studies. Same thing with the MA, same thing in the PhDs. PhDs. <laughs> Those who are HODs right now, they are my friends. I asked them, did you write in Arabic? No, no, in English I wrote my thesis. So you wrote in English and you got the PhD in Arabic? Shame on you. <laughs> did you get sisters? So this is how the people are misunderstanding BA or Islamic studies or the Arabic language. Here, it is very clear. We are giving you the degree because you need it as a position, as the status, that people should respect you. Otherwise, you are in hijab, they think that you don't know anything. But we want the hijab, your most perfect person, personality, okay, that I am going to speak. So BA is recognized degree first, okay. You want the degree, explain it. The degree you need, okay, let us go. A bachelor degree is the academic position, the society accepts you that you are an educated person. So next step is, which degree you have to opt for it, which degree? And why? Sisters are there, mothers are there, parents are there. Please think about it. How much time your child or yourself from KG till PG or degree you have spent in schools, in the books? Your friends, circles, you are sitting in the schools. Your Muslim school right now just they come very expensive. So you sit down with home, with a secular environment, teachers, non-Muslim, non-Muslim friends, Christians, Hindus, secular, atheists, your daughter sitting down. Daily eight hours, almost, more than from the parents. How much time your daughter spend with your parents? Environment, then the WhatsApp connections, all these things is happening. So how much life they are spending with? Allah said to the Prophet, وَصْبِذْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَلَشِيِّ O Prophet, keep yourself with those people who remember Allah morning and the evening for the Prophet. Good company. How about ourselves? How about the other Muslims if they don't have the good companies? You know that the influence of the friends are more than the parents. You know that. My children, they don't want to have the beer to become Muslim, Maulanas. Their friends are businessmen, doctors, engineers, Mala is an old man. That is influence of the society. So you are sending your daughters, your children, how much time they are spending and what is at the end, that is, let us think about it. Okay, did you think about any person you want to spend 5 rupees, 10 rupees, 20 rupees, 50 rupees and your husband, your brother, your father, 1 million rupees they spend, do you think that they will spend anywhere without any purpose? 
or they take care of the business millions of the time they think it is a successful business good project or not but you are investing your life your life your money in your children so at the end what they are and what they are getting so degree is for what generally this is what i took from the encyclopedia from english you know dictionaries the purpose of degrees if you ask more money more expensive degree for what because the returns are more medical doctor engineers professionals so purpose of the degrees why the mother always say go to the school pass the examination always for what you be a good successful man not in the akhira ha huh? so the to earn more money more jobs more opportunities whatever it is at the end to make your dunya very prosperous and very happy life this is the dunya that's it this is the purpose of the life but what we are losing in these degrees what we are losing in these degrees we are losing our religion because all our secular institutions secular friends non muslim christians boys girls and everything become you know so easy that everything is can be accepted easily bad relations so let us go religion you can't understand listen in the schools in the universities right now akhlaq ethics how to behave with yourself with your dress with your father with your mother with your friends with your cousins never they never speak no one speak if somebody is speak about the ethics about the akhlaq the muk so our students they are very noble because they did not see their mother their father doing bad and you know, shameful things but they are very weak in front of the society to face them so what they happen they will whether they accept or not from inside from the inner heart they follow them their culture their style they don't like but because other people are doing they do that influence of the that is called in the psychology peer pressure psychology is there with us huh peer pressure is more than anything else people's influence so you know this is what happened in the schools in the colleges there is no word of allah akhlaq deen religion purpose of the life chastity limits nothing live a life of an animal that is what the secular universities are teaching i am true in that i can you can challenge me i will prove that but i am going you know see here what we are losing some slogans the people they say and it's become common and normal and accepted right now before 20, 10 years 20 years 30 years back the people when they do something wrong they feel shy they are not able to do in front of the society <clears throat> but right now it is not possible people are dare to do something because the programs or the songs or the music or whatever it is being presented to the new generation they are teaching them khuda se darna nahi to bandon se darna kya huh if you don't fear from the god why we have to fear the human being so do whatever you want no problem so that is why girls right now feels dare to do something wrong when the matter of hijab prayer comes they feel shy when the matter of bad things this is not their mistake it is the parents mistake it is the environment in the society's mistake that we did not teach them okay <clears throat> you know that slogans this is in the society i have written something though i don't know much but mohabbat kiya to darna kya ha if you are in the relations love that thing why we have to fear nothing to fear so it means do it appreciate it this is the slogans and you can read on the 
T-shirts and the shirts, the, this kinds of the slogan. That is what I taken from there. <laughs> huh? Slogans from the T-shirts. All the bad things which should not happen in the academic institutions, colleges, schools, where we go to learn the akhlaq, the deen that is happening right now in the colleges. Isn't it? Cultural programs. In 1987, I was, you know, my life was in Madarsa, then Madina University, then Fatwa Center. So I don't know culture program. In 1987, I was not knowing even a little bit English also. One of my friends was selected as a president of a college, arts college in Hyderabad. So he invited me for the culture program. I got the culture program. So I don't know what is the culture program because culture means for us it is the civilization, it is art, it is learning, something. So I signed the dictionary because I don't know English. And I did not want to show the people that I don't know English. <laughs> So I refer to the dictionary, so civilization, that and this, uh, you know, I was, my friend was, pres, you know, president, so I was uh, among the invitees. So, Vice Chancellor of Usman University was also attending. I went there, only one person with the beard, with the topi, with this jubba, and the people are, you know, all the people are <laughs> gazing me, what kind of a person here in culture program. I thought culture program is civilization, some knowledge, some lecture. Then it started everything. Subhanallah, professors are there. Vice Chancellor Osman University, that time Naunit Pa was there, he was there. So, this is the culture program, then first and last culture program for me. <laughs> so, did you understand? I always speak about, you know, war of terminologies. So, culture program. So, these are the programs in universities, in the colleges, everywhere right now. If you go there, you don't get accept these things. So, what happened? At the end, you know that especially the teenagers from 12, 13 till 22, 24 is the very crucial age. So this is the environment of the colleges. Right now, you the the, the people used to send the children to the colleges and the, to school to learn to become civilized. But right now we are fearing to send them in the universities and the colleges. Whatever it is happening outside, what is happening in the school and the colleges, and that you know that sisters. All these bad things, we are losing our deen, our akhlaq, our chastity, everything. Then what we are spending for that? A little bit, but it is very less, I calculated it here. Huh? Primary to high school, how many years? 14 years. How many months? 12 months every year. So 14 into 12, 168 month. Monthly you spend 4,000 or normal, more or less. Huh? on your child, for books, for dress, for tuition fee, for transport, huh? for stationery, 4,000 is more or less? Yes. Very less? Yes. Okay, let us go with 4,000. So into 4,000 is equal to how much? Some lakhs. Okay, plus dress, events, I did not calculate on your time, your life, early morning, waking up, preparing the food, defense, for your kids and waiting for them, all the tension, your life, okay? Degree, generally people go for that, I did not take the medical degree, that is one crore and more. So I took its normal university degree, engineering, so normal university, middle class university, so 10 lakhs. So can you imagine you are spending 20 lakhs around on your general middle class families, so what is the end? Why you are spending such a huge money? And what do you want from your daughters especially? Males, okay, they earn money. They think that they earn, but <laughs> I did not see the people, they are earning the money in their specialization. Generally, 99% I did not see. <clears throat> so after all this time, what you are getting in the universities, degree what is the purpose of this investment why where do you want to see your daughter after graduation where do you want to see in IT field working with the males going alone in the nights think about it what do you want 
do you feel safe that she should get that but generally the middle class and a good muslim they want that their daughter should be educated and a good successful wife successful mother successful daughter that's it so that you are not going to get it after wasting all these times okay so why this course right now this means bis in aspire i'm not talking about other bis in other places we are talking here <clears throat> you know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to this to teach to train the people he sent the messenger he did not send the book if the people are raised and trained by the books no need of the prophets so we need a person that should be there always in the family if the children are without father without the mother you know that how they will be so here they aspire we have alhamdulillah experienced faculties they will maybe i used to say every time everywhere to my faculties and to my friends and to my society that degrees you can get in oxford in you know cambridge in everywhere islamic studies degrees jews and christians you know that dr bilal philip he took his phd under a jew dr bilal philip i'm talking about let the other matters qadi yasir also took under them so it is their phds so islamic studies are there jews and christian they are teaching we don't want the degrees we want the iman and the taqwa and the one who has the iman and the taqwa and the tarbiyah the love of the sisters and love of the muslim umma that person can give that it is not the matter of degrees so that we will provide you here ethical environment learning islam is compulsory islam teaches all good for human being no one suffer with obeying his her, her, or her god so we teach you islam here islam means you know islam means what that a rational person a wise person a good ethical person can think that is islam everything in islam is good be clean be good be nice smile to the people you know adopt the good akhlaq be kind with the parents with the animals that is the akhlaq that is the islam that what we teach the person who has the love for the islam dedicated for islam that person can teach properly these things that is what we are here so you know teaching the people about their akhlaq about their belief about their faith how to live the day to day life life of the prophet doubts about islam why hijab you know what we teach is something life of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what the belief day to day life that is the fiqh day to day life matter cleaning yourself performing the prayer clothes which has impure pure that is the day to day life that the parents generally they are busy or they don't know or they don't have the time or the children don't take from the parents do you know that same thing the outsider the doctor says they take it from the children from the parents they don't take it so all these things inshallah it is delivered here islam why hijab for example you are a believer you know that the quran is the most the, the only true books in the world islam is the only true religion but you ask you go there in the street and stand and take 100 muslims ask them about the islam they feel shy why beard they feel shy that is why 99% muslims no, don't wear the hijab don't grow the beard don't perform the prayers why born muslims but if the situation continue after 10 years 20 years after the next generation many of them will convert to the christianity to hinduism because they don't have the faith they have the doubts in the mind why hijab everybody is okay see here why hijab you have to come here to learn in one sentence in one minute i cannot answer you this is the guidance of god he wanted from you to wear the hijab why because the whole society is suffering without the hijab all the eve teasing rape problems what is happening so we don't want all these things to mention here right now in the 5 10 minutes but in nutshell summary that if you learn here you can understand you have the faith in your deen your iman maybe knowledge you can increase later on but something on the path of the knowledge we will inshallah try to put your words on that you know <clears throat> so there are a lot of subjects we teach here alhamdulillah and that we did in the past also we teach the tajweed tajweed means you know quran is a style of recitation you can hear it properly it should be recited it is not that as you like in the tamil style in the malayalam style no 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 quran has its own its style the people when listen the quran they embrace islam 
So that is we have to learn it. That is the tajweed. Then memorization of the Quran. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's speech. Alhamdulillah. Maybe some sisters address you right now. They were in three years they memorized the Quran 15 Jews in under our supervision. And inshallah they will continue because it is easy. But how to make them to learn, to understand? So we try motivation. So every year they have to memorize three Jews, but generally they, 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 they memorize more than that. Always, if you meet our students. And some of the students, they completed the Quran because they have done 15 Jews. So it was easy for them. After that, after three years, they completed 15 Jews. So they go ahead for some more subjects and continue it. So the Quran is there, Hibs is there, Dua. Dua means the Prophet wasallam always used to Dua. When he's entering the house, exiting the house, you know, before sleeping, going out, you know, sending off the children, you know, blah, evil eye, all these are the duas, always. We have to memorize them and you know, always supplicate them so that we can get the reward, protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people they don't do that, even they know that they can't do that, unless we have to provide them a perfect environment. Seed of the Prophet ﷺ, life of the Prophet ﷺ, because we say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Rasulullah, who, is, who was the Prophet, what he did, how he taught, why we have to follow everything. Allah said in the Quran, follow him. Atiyu Allah wa atiyu Rasul. In gundam tuhibbun Allah fa attabi'uni. Allah said to follow them, so who is the Prophet? We have to learn about his life, about his details. So Seed and the hadith of the Prophet, that is the you know, statements of the Prophet ﷺ, fiqh. Inheritance, inheritance, you know that if a person die, leaving one wife, uh, two daughters, one brother, one uncle, so how much each one should get percentage? And what is the calculation? That subject is not taught in English anywhere in India. Till this time only I, according to my knowledge, I taught this subject in IIU also, in India also. Maybe the people right now due to the books and coming to learn, but basically this subject it is not known for the people. So Alhamdulillah that subject is start here. <coughs> tafsir, Tafsir means explanation of the Quran, Tarjimatul Quran, Adab, manners, day to day manners. I did not mention here manners. Adab, adab of manners of sleeping, manners of talking, manners of living, manners of you know going, all the manners, adab. And similar subjects, a lot of Alhamdulillah. <coughs> So right now, this is the BIS, that kind of the BIS being presented here. Thanks for coming. Jazakumullahu khair.